Hey man, it's Young Swan Swan, the realest nigga of all time. So look, I got another build video for y'all. This is going to be an amazing, overpowered build in NBA 2K21, and I'm going to tell you why. This will be a speed boosting lockdown with Hall of Fame shooting badges and Hall of Fame defensive. You know, it could take over the play lock spot if they can't shoot. Cause you know they probably got like six, eight shooting badges. This one's gonna have an extensive amount, plus the Hall of Fame shooting badges. You could be a fading god, you know, and have Hall of Fame defensive. It's a very broken build, but you need to watch the full video so I can explain to you how you could still speed boost and have the max height and all the weights and all that. It's very extensive. I'm bringing to you guys my first 2v2 build. You could also use this on the threes too. This is probably like very versatile. You could use this also for hash and then to be a secondary ball handler on threes and pro-am. So you're gonna wanna watch this full video, listen to why I'm doing everything and all this and that. But, but yeah, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe if you're new. 300K on the way, help a young nigga grow. Hit that goddamn like button. If you not making no build with one defensive badge, man, I see these goddamn YouTubers making builds with one defensive badge. I hope y'all not stupid enough. Let me know down in the comments if y'all is still like this brain dead. I'm sorry for taking too long talking, but I wanna help y'all in every vid that I post. And please also do not make a build with one defensive badge, okay? I don't care if you have lockdowns even playing for you, bro playing defense for you on the threes, pro-am, whatever. Listen, listen, bot. People aren't stupid. They call cuts with you little small, like they, they showing y'all, look at me, badge upgrades we have. Listen, stop, bro, stop. When you play someone decent or good, you're gonna get destroyed. They could set a screen, make you guard them. Come on, man, don't, don't, don't limit yourself, man. Make builds that last so you don't end up, you know, don't make mistakes. Make safe builds first. See if other people do it, then you know, you know, you feel me? And also, what is wrong with this community with this one finishing badge stuff, okay? Listen, of course it works. I've had one last year, all that, bro. Of course it works, and it's gonna make your, it's gonna make your shooting, playmaking, defense, it's gonna look at all, it's gonna make it look amazing, like a real OP build, but listen. They said they improved paint defense. They said they nerfed hop steps. For you to be an ISO player and to make a build with one finishing badge, what are you thinking? If you play someone as good as you, you're limiting yourself to be a shooter. You're not gonna be able to drive contested when they when they switch all this. It's it's stop. At least have like three finishing, bro. You feel me? Like it, it doesn't make sense. Most of y'all are rim runners, you're not stage players. The only sense it makes for someone to have one finishing is if they're a stage player and they literally just chuck up threes behind the screen, right? And that method can work because then they got the 99 rebounding big, you know, cutting and all that. They're using screens, but for just ISO players and average guards and stuff, you want to not limit yourself, bro. It doesn't make too much sense to me. And it's a new game. I don't know why risk like, damn, I can't finish layups. And then y'all complain about Intimidator and all this other stuff. You'd be like, damn, I can't contact dunk or not this dunking slightly contact, you know? I don't know. I wouldn't do it personally. Take the safe route, you know, see how the game works, but don't make your first builds with one finishing badge. Very dumb, but can work. But anywho, let's get into the build. Sorry for talking so much. <laughs> but yeah let's go so we are going to pick this pie chart right here this is where you unlock hall of fame defensive and hall of fame shooting you feel me now with these physicals i'm going to select the highest speed one <clears throat> but you can also select this one but i didn't want to do all the math there's like a speed boost chart i just wanted to be safe and I want it to be 6'5", not too small and stuff like that. You know, you can't have the high vertical. I think you get plus nine or plus eight. I'm not too sure how. Mike Wing already said that it's going to 
basically work the exact same as last year with the contact dunk speed boost and stuff like that so i'm assuming the physicals and the gym rat um so you get like plus nine or eight i, I don't really remember but i mean i'm i'm gonna just take it safe and rock like this have like a damn near 97 98 speed you feel me so first this is what you're going to do okay so these are the stats my boy look so you're gonna have three finishing that's that's amazing okay that's very very good that's nice you got a nice dunk you got a nice layup you got a nice close shot okay close shot you know spam fades you could fade with this guy okay being six five a hall of fame shooting and, and defensive you know so you can slash at a high rate right your midi and all that's gonna be damn near like your midi and your three point gonna be damn near 90 once you're 99 that's, that's nice right you know you could be hash you could play sharp with this build and lockdown you feel me you're gonna be able to speed boost have enough badges for the quick first step the handles for days all that stuff you know it's nice right if you a dribble god you know you you could really go crazy with this man um i don't know how op the behind the back is going to be and if play locks are going to be able to shoot so that also matters with this build because of like because i don't presume you're going to be able to do the crazy behind the back even if that still stays in the game so you know just be up to date if things change you know you might want to tweak the build or maybe play locks would be better than this but i don't know i think overall this is just a this is very easy you know hall of fame shooting makes the game way easier hall of fame defense makes the game way easier okay you can still finish at a good rate so it's like and your speed boosting it's a it's a very all-around build man um but if if that behind the back is just crazy crazy op then that would be the limiting factor of this build but yeah who knows but this still seemed like a strong build um your interior defense is up 51 right it's good you always need your interior defense up a lot of locks they don't upgrade their interior d and they get destroyed bro that's why i always tell people make sure you get a build with interior d or you're not playing with me bro so many play locks always try to run with me and other lockdowns and i hated it because they would just get destroyed in the paint and they wouldn't know why versus park randoms okay you got a high perimeter d that's gonna go up to 89 lateral 89 steel 96 the block i did want to put that up but you know we got 20 defensive that's very strong 12 playmaking you know you could have had it a little higher i think this is i think this is nice y'all let me know how y'all feel about it man we're gonna go burly you know that's how you get more contact you're more intimidating you're bigger helps you finish better all the hoopla always burly on all your builds burly gang in the chat man Y'all spam in the comments, Burly Gang, if you're going to be a part of the academy, man. So, look, I would never make a build under 6'3", unless it was... Man, I don't recommend making any build under 6'3". 6'3 is the ultimate push, okay? I like taller builds overall, but do not make no build over under 6'3". The only one I could ever say is if, if it was a BP and, you know contact dunks hall of fame shooting hall of fame and you want to speed boost if it had some restrictions like that but i don't think it's like that this year so um yeah if y'all want the 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 bp offensive threats builds i dropped them last video in a slasher with hall of fame shooting it's crazy go check out my past build videos but yeah so i'm gonna go six five right everything goes up ball handle goes down a little everything goes up on defensive your post move go up a little blah 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 you know gonna go six five i'm not gonna go lowest weight i'm not gonna go lowest weight i'm gonna go 178 because the speed and acceleration it's it's the exact same at lowest weight you see so you we're gonna make it 178 you see you make it 179 you know we want as much speed as possible wingspan we're not gonna go lowest we're gonna go 78.8 as you can see the ball handle even if you go lowest it's only plus one so we're gonna go 78.8 we don't have to have lowest wingspan you could get plus three and then one on post fade but that don't really matter 
I think 78.8 is valid. And then bam, you got the takeovers, my boy. Now you, I don't, I don't really know what's wrong with people. A lot of people are DMing me, showing me builds and all this, saying they got the build from this guy and that guy, and they want me to rate and all that. And on my Twitch stream, by the way, y'all follow it. Link in description. Y'all follow it after you watch my other build videos. But listen, people are having me rate their build, all this and that, and. I see a lot of people going lock takeover. I don't think people remember that uh, if you're destroying everyone, why, when are you gonna get lock takeover? And people spam and stuff so it lowers your takeover. Lockdown takeover is the hardest takeover to get. When you play comp, you might get it. I've played lockdown a lot last year. It's the hardest takeover to actually get. Rarely get your takeover. I don't think I activated lock takeover over 30 times. <laughs> like <laughs> like uh, 50 times I, I i don't know it's it's a lot bro because you're you're fouling you're trying to get steals you know stuff like that but i mean i guess on offense and stuff i haven't really tried it on someone that's like scoring and stuff like that i mean i don't know it could happen but this is the hardest takeover to get shot creator has been the easiest and this has been pretty useless but i mean this is all personal preference it's all about if you want takeover first or if you're a fading player i if i was you if you want to fade with this guy from the midi and stuff like that i would select this i remember looking at 2k labs takeover info and he said fading from the three point goes up 10 with this but fading from the three point with the shot creator goes up five but you can also get ankle breakers and stuff like that with this and it ups your dunk and all that but if you're like want to be pure shooting you know, you know that it goes up 10 and then your fade from three goes up. So, I mean, I don't know if y'all want to do that particularly, but me personally, I mean, I think I'm going to take the risk with the with the sharp. It's not really a risk. It's like the most OP thing. But if your style is different, you're a little Ticino or whatever, you could pick shot creator. I'm personally going to pick sharp so I could just be toxic fade from three. <laughs> with like a 93 with a build that got a uh, hall of fame defensive hall of fame shooting y'all let me know how y'all feel about the build rated down in the description or not the description the comments i'm gonna finish show you all the badges that i'll run on this build and bam yeah 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 you, you got a two-way sharpshooter <laughs> i don't know why they got russell westbrook <laughs> but hey we got curry and barry and davis my boy Man, man, Westbrook can only shoot the midi like a guy. You know, what I mean? they say my boy can't shoot, but he can shoot the midi. He is better than Curry overall, but you know, that's another that's another talk for another day. Y'all, let me know if y'all think Curry is better in the comments, man. So for the finishing badges, I don't know if Fancy's like OP. You could do some crazy stuff like this, or you could rock like this or maybe have consistent like that contact like that maybe bam you know or maybe bam i'd probably i'd probably mess with this um this first personally and then maybe Throw in slithery, maybe something like this. Personally, who knows how good these badges are gonna be? But yeah, up to you, man. These are the shooting badges I would rock, man. But you know, if Tyler Shooter becomes good, <laughs> finally, um, maybe something like this. But I don't think it will. Or you can have like, if you're a fader or something, you know, do something like this. You feel me? Something like that. Or you could rock it, rock it like this. I'd probably do something like this, to be honest, if I was gonna play twos with this, cause I wanna play twos more, and this would be a twos build that I would actually be able to enjoy playing on without being hella annoyed with all the BS that twos does, cause this would be able to stop all that chaotic stuff. You can have your badges like this, you know, we not rocking Dimer this year, you feel me? We not, we not rocking Dimer this year, you miss your block. That. <laughs> That's how we moving. Let me know if y'all moving with me, man. You miss your block. I'd probably rock something like this. 
and 2K21 all depends on if like interceptor is better um, at higher levels. What I would take down would probably be that's tough. If pickpocket don't really work, you know, I might take it down and stuff. Who knows how they they said they nerfed Intimidator? I think maybe something like that. But I, actually, I do have to have Pogo. Man, so I don't know. Like a twos build, you know. If I'm not if I'm playing threes or pro am or something. I probably would well still you still gotta have pogo who knows if you need pogo i seen someone on gold in the demo and they were just jumping like uh 15 times who knows but um you could rock something like this like this pogo is very important for tools um but yeah bro something like this my boy pick dodger don't work you know I don't know, man. but anywho, man, make sure y'all turn on noties, man. I'm a, I got a lot more other builds to drop. Y'all let me know what build y'all want my opinions on, etc., etc. For your play style, hit me up. Follow me on Twitch. But yeah, man, make sure you subscribe if you're new. Turn on post noties. Dropping a hell of a lot more videos. Like the goddamn video. Type real nigga academy in the comments if you made it this far. And yeah, man, go peep my other build videos, and I'm out this hole. And I'm dropping another vid later, so be ready for that. Later today, be ready for that. Turn on notice. Adios.